everyone, my name is Justin Swaddling and I'm back here at Dork's Music with some more tips and playing ideas on the saxophone. If you haven't already been following this series, it's all about the blues and how you can tackle improvising over that kind of a sequence. Remember, this isn't the only instructional video available on the Dork's Music YouTube channel. There are tons of fantastic videos and gear reviews for you to check out right now, so please subscribe. Today's video is going to be all about repetition and new ideas. The blue sequence is the perfect sequence over which to experiment with those kind of ideas and I'm going to introduce that to you now. You would have seen in previous series that we've spoken uh, quite a lot about leaving space within your solo. This is really important to create coherence and structure to your improvisation. The blues is a fantastic opportunity to experiment with repetition and new ideas. Remember, just because you play something once doesn't mean that you can't play it again and again and again. Sometimes repetition is actually really interesting and exciting to listen to. Um, the blues sequence is three lines of four bars, which you could think about it as three different ideas, or you could start your first uh, idea on the top line and repeat it twice with a little variation each time. I'm going to demonstrate that now with the backing track. This is a fantastic way of uh, giving your solo a bit more structure. So you heard me play an idea at the start of the top of each sequence and then I did a, a variation on that idea uh, for the second and third line. Try that yourself at home, it's a really great way of giving structure and coherence to your improvisation. The next time we're going to be looking at the jazz blues and how that sequence might change and if there's anything we can do to really sound on top of that sequence so I hope you'll join me next time. 